For this homework problem, we'll take a look at conditional probability, which is finding the probability of some event given that some event already occurred. So it says the accompanying table shows the result from a test for a certain disease. Find the probability of selecting a subject with a negative test result given that the subject has the disease. What would be the unfavorable consequence of this error? So for this problem, we want to find the probability of selecting a subject with a negative test result, and we're given that the subject has the disease. So since we're given the subject has the disease, I'm only looking at that first column where it says, yes, the individual has the disease. Okay. So now the total amount of subjects I have that have the disease is the 314 plus 12, which is 326. So there's 326 subjects that had the disease. And now we want to find the probability of getting a negative test result. So subjects that tested negative were 12 of them. So it would be 12 out of 326. So we have 12 divided by 326, and this will give us the probability. So we have 12 divided by 326. This is going to be equal to 12 divided by 326. Now it's saying round to three decimal places, so we have 0 0.037. So this would be the probability of selecting someone with a negative test result given the subject had the disease. So I have 0 0.037. Okay, now it's asking what's the unfavorable consequence of this error? Well, the subject tested negative and they actually had the disease. So let's take a look at which answer choice is the best. A, the subject would not receive treatment and could spread the disease. That's a possibility. The test would be shown to be not effective. The test would be shown to be not reliable. The subject would experience needless stress and additional testing. So for this one, the subject tested negative. They don't know how, they don't know that they have the disease, but they actually do. So the unfavorable consequence here would that they would not be receiving treatment. 